Welcome back, everybody. This is episode three, playing the U.S. campaign for my very first time on Victory at Sea Pacific. If you didn't see the first two episodes, click on the link in the description below. It'll take you back to episode one so you can catch up to this point. Thank you once again to all the fantastic advice and input that you've been giving me. I'm going to try to take those things to heart as much as I possibly can. Also, uh, if you watched my 20K subscriber special live stream that we did on Sunday, uh, you know that I mentioned that we made some uh, updates to the Patreon tiers and the rewards uh, involved with those to reflect better the games that I'm playing right now. And one of those, of course, is giving the opportunity for people to name their own ships on this game. Well, I've only heard back from one of those patrons so far, and that's Keith. And Keith had a very unique name that he requested for uh, his aircraft carrier. Uh, so, Keith, you're going to see that here uh, in the battle today because... Uh, your aircraft carrier, which used to be the Lexington, is going to be right in the middle of this. It's in Task Force 12. He asked it to be called USS You Want a Buyer. I, I don't get it, but I don't ask. I, as long as it's family friendly and it, at least on the surface, appears to be to me, it's fine with me. So we're going to dive into this. We are in the middle of a raid on Midway that is happening, obviously, from some Japanese aircraft carrier that's probably up in this direction. Uh, I just finished my raid down here um, on making a toll, and so we're going to actually send Task Force 17. Task Force 17 needs to raid Tarawa, and I could probably just go ahead and do that while I'm down there, but I really want to take advantage of this opportunity, so I'm rushing, rushing that task force uh, up here toward Midway. It's going to probably take them a few days to get there, but I want to see if I can catch this Japanese fleet, so we'll see. All right, so we're going to try to take down some of his fighters. He's got just a, a small group of fighters here. Uh, so we're going to scramble ours into the air. I don't know why these fighters are going that way, but I really don't want them to do that. I want to try and catch small numbers of fighters like this and see if we can maybe make a difference that way gang up on small bits at a time, shoot down a few of them, and then go after the next bunch. So let's see. I can't quite see where they are at the moment. There they are. So there's some zeros right here. So I'm going to try to send everything I can after this group of zeros. Now I know Japanese zeros are supposed to be pretty good, so... Um, we got to be super careful here because we don't want to go at them with equal numbers because I don't know that that's a recipe for success. So I've got a small group of fighters out here that looks like they're going to be able to intercept some of these vowels. There's a... Wow, there's quite a bunch of them here. I think these dive bombers are headed toward Midway. Now they're breaking off. And they're going to try to take on my fighters, but so far so good. If we can take out all nine of these vowels with these three fighters, that would be huge for me. There's at least two carriers out there. I haven't spotted them yet, but just by the sheer number of aircraft that we've seen so far, there's got to be at least two of them. Ammo's depleted. Darn it. Okay. So meanwhile, you can see here that Task Force 6 is on the way, and that includes the Saratoga. So that will give us a second carrier. We've also got two destroyers and a battleship on the way here, and they're going to be there before too long. Uh, the other task force that I've got headed north is at least a couple of weeks away yet. So um, Task Force 17, which is my really big one, which could really turn the tide of this thing. Uh, their ETA to arrive on scene is not until March 9th. Now they may get into range sooner than that, but... They're not going to be able to do much for me before that. There's a lot of fighters here. I'm thinking maybe there's at least three carriers. All right, we're about to intercept some more vowels. I can't quite tell if they're headed toward my fleet. Yeah, it looks like they are headed toward my fleet. Not going to give them the chance. Back out a little bit so we can see what's going on better. You can see I've got three flights of, uh, flights of fighters here. I should be able to shoot down all these valves. 
Yep, we got them. All right, so that's less to deal with. The problem is we've got to deal with some of the fighters too because if I don't deal with the fighters, then I'm never going to be able to launch any kind of an attack on their carriers. Uh, you can see here, is that all fighters? That's a ton of fighters. There's like 40 fighters right here all going after my one spotter plane. But by doing that, what they're doing is they're leaving their own. They've got another, looks like at least 12 fighters over here. There might be more than that. Uh, and then there's four more fighters here. So they're leaving their own in a bad po uh, position because they're sending so many fighters after one guy. Uh, so that gives me the opportunity then to deal with some of his stuff. All right, so here we have another set of fighters going after some more vows, and we've got them shot down. So we are systematically taking out a lot of his dive bombers. The problem is there's all these zeros over here. Now we're going to lose this Kingfisher. But you can see here we've got multiple groups of Japanese zeros out there. But that's okay because he can't do a lot with fighters only. And if we keep taking out all of his dive bombers eventually he has nothing left to attack with now there are some fighters over here this is gonna get interesting now because now we're gonna take on the actual fighters and I'm not sure how well we're gonna do against them Let's take a look. We've got some am ammunition issue issues at the moment, too. They're still going after my Kingfisher. They're really close to my fleet, though. Let's just wait and see what he does for a minute. Yeah, I guess he's just going to keep on going. Okay, we've got a new ship class available. The Porter Class Destroyer Leader is now available to build at any shipyard. The Colorado Class Battleship is now available to build at any shipyard. And it looks like that's all for the moment. So I'm kind of keeping this task force moving I'm not too too worried about what they do to Midway as long as I stay close to Midway what I don't want to allow to happen is that he gets a chance to hit this small fleet that I've got here when I've got additional forces so close to being in range I'm gonna have a total of uh, four carriers in the area in another week or so uh, so I'm just trying to hang on as long as I can so I can get some more power going this way. You see a ton of fighters, but not much else right now. I don't know what's here. I don't know if there's some Kates that we missed. Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting. We've got all of our available fighters from the carrier heading to intercept these 12 fighters here. I feel like strength in numbers is going to be my friend here. And if we can keep catching small groups of his fighters, we can probably whittle them down. I don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with equal numbers of, of zeros. I don't feel like my wildcats could handle that. But like this, I think we can. So if we can catch 12 here and there and throw maybe 30 fighters at them, we might stand a chance. Getting in behind them. Let's see what happens here. They seem like they aren't really particularly interested in turning around to face me. I'm going to speed, speed things up a little bit here. We're going to have to try to catch them. I don't know where they're headed, but we may not be able to catch them because those zeros are pretty fast. Let's take a look here. Yeah, they have no interest in turning around to fight me. I may not be able to catch them. All right, looks like at least somebody caught up to them.
and hopefully by engaging a few of them it looks like we took at least a couple of them out now they're turning to engage me we ought to be able to deal with all these guys Oh, did I turn away? Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on. So it looks like we took out four of them. There were 12, but my 32 fighters are heading back to land. Once they do, we'll get them back in the air because we've got more fighters headed this way. Uh, I'm moving my task force up here north of Midway. Let's see where the others are now. We're under the 20th of February. Uh, we're still a couple of days out from getting additional help. One of the cool things you can see is you can go into your fleet and look at your battle record. And so I can look at the Uwana Buyer, uh, which is a Lexington class carrier. And you can see that they have destroyed 26 aircraft. And that has all been during this battle. Um, so we've taken out quite a few of his aircraft, but I know there's a lot more out there than what we've seen so far. Okay, so there's this couple of light cruisers down here to the south, and it looked like for a little bit there that we weren't seeing any new planes coming toward mid Midway. So I've gone ahead and launched all of my dive bombers and torpedo bombers toward these light cruisers. The, the next carrier that's on its way, uh, which is the Saratoga, is not quite in range yet. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait till they get a little closer to help But there's only four fighters that I can see so far and we're gonna send our fighters to intercept his We'll keep them in this area to kind of offer cover because I'll get there with no trouble What I'm worried about is getting back to my carrier before the fighters get in range Okay, here we go a Bunch of torpedo bombers and uh, you know what honestly, let's pause for a second because what I don't want to see happen is that we end up going after two different targets. So let's go ahead and kind of split this up a little bit. Okay, I got that all done. If this works the way it should, we shouldn't even need the... Uh, what are they doing? Then we shouldn't even need the second wave, the uh, the wave that comes in by way of the uh, the bombers. Honestly, I have no idea exactly where these guys are going. What in the world? Okay, they got their torpedoes in the water. I feel like they put them all too far out in front. And we're losing a bunch of them. This is why I prefer the high, the high level bombers, or the dive bombers. All right, looks like we're gonna get them. Two ought to be enough to take this guy out. It's a light cruiser. And two's all we're gonna get. May only get one on this guy. And I guess we're gonna need those bombers after all. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> torpedoes are the worst. Hate those guys. All right. Well, we did sink this one. So that's the good news. We sank one of them. We just only got one hit on the other one. All right, well, the bombers are way up here, and you can see the torpedoes, the torpedo uh, planes heading back. I think these bombers ought to be able to finish this guy off with a little trouble. And our fighters are about to intercept the, the small squadron of Japanese fighters that are coming our way. I think these guys ought to be able to do this with little trouble.
Gotcha. Did we get him? Yeah, I think we got him. Yeah, it looks like he's sinking. Okay, cool. So that brings us now to the fighters. And 19 fighters ought to be able to deal with four zeros. Which now appear to be... Oh, still four. If we can catch them, that's the question. They always seem... I mean, they're just able to outrun our fighters is the problem. At least we're driving them off. That's the important thing. Okay, so we took out those fighters. What they ended up doing was they actually started turning back toward my task force so they could try to intercept my dive bombers and torpedo bombers as they were, uh, or torpedo planes as they were heading in for landing, and we finally caught up to them. So we're going to get everybody landed because we've got this big mess of fighters coming this way. I don't know if they'll actually keep coming at me. I'm going to move my fleet over toward the southeast side of Mid Midway so we can get a little closer to these reinforcements that are on their way. So the Japanese have launched an amphibious assault on Darwin in northern Australia. Really not a lot I can do about that. That's on the British to be able to deal with that. So uh, it's nighttime now and the fighters backed off. They went back to their carriers. We're going to be able to unite with these two destroyers and a battleship, this light cruiser and a carrier. That's going to give me two carriers in the area with two more on the way. Uh, so I might feel bold enough to start turning around and actually looking for the Japanese carriers. Uh, you'll notice I've got 700 war bonds available to me. I'm actually saving those up because I want to upgrade Midway to a major port and in order to do that I need 1500 war bonds so that's what I'm doing right now is saving up for that okay so it's the 25th of February and now we've got two carriers Saratoga Uwana Buyer and uh, Chicago Portland and Porter and the Able Squadron we've got Pennsylvania Battleship along with the Hovey and the Concord and the Chandler so let's go hunting actually I think I probably want to go ahead and uh repair and resupply first because if we've got time to do that that gives me a chance to um, refit hopefully get some planes built up and I'd really like to change those torpedo planes over to dive bombers if I can I don't know if that's possible I don't have enough destroyers right now and we've got the new Porter class destroyers available to us so I'm gonna build a couple of those because they're only 50 war bonds and the upgrade for only 25 additional gives me advanced radar sub hunter uh, and then bonuses for AA so we're gonna go ahead and queue up a couple of those I'll get them built it'll only take a short time to do that because uh, I feel like this uh, battleship squadron doesn't have enough sub protection so I want to make sure that I've got that before I send them uh, I'm actually gonna send them toward Johnson Atoll because I want to try and protect the uh, shipping lanes down here if I can okay so I've gone in and swapped out all of my torpedoes uh, torpedo planes from both carriers replaced them all with uh, fighters and dive bombers that's all we're gonna have so it's just a matter of waiting uh, for those to be replaced as soon as those are replaced we're heading out and by that point task force 17 is going to be in a good position to be able to assist us as well we're going to send them into port and get them refit and ready to go and would you look at that no sooner had I gotten ready to go back to combat and we've got a raid coming in we have got 12 dive bombers on the way so let's go ahead and get our fighters up as best we can we'll get all the fighters and we've got a whole lot more of them now uh, and we're going to get them to go intercept these 12 dive bombers that are coming in. And we're also going to be able to do this from these other carriers because they're in range as well. Okay. A bunch of vowels are in for a big surprise. I don't know where they're diving at the moment, but I think we've already done some damage to them. We must have intercepted them with some already. Eh, that's not what I wanted to do. So we've got a ton of fighters headed their way. 
We have this one lone fighter uh, squadron up here that's probably the closest to being able to hit them. They're going to be the first ones to intercept. I can't believe he sent all these planes without fighter escorts. That just baffles me. Let's back up a little bit so we can see a little better. Alright, I think these guys are probably out of ammo. I don't know. Yeah, they are. Alright. That means it's time for the other guys to get their turn. We're sending everybody we can. What is this over here? That's a bunch more vowels. Okay, maybe we go after them instead. Let me back out so I can get a look at the... Uh, at the situation here. So that was seven dive bombers that are left there. We've got another 12 that we're coming after. A bunch more fighters coming in from Task Force 17. He's going to have his hands full for sure. Okay, here we go. So our Wildcats are coming at him again. They're actually really close to Midway, and they may just get their bombs off this time. I've got Wildcats way down, significantly below the altitude level that these guys are at and I have no idea why that is but I can't get them to it might be another one of those glitches that we just can't control we've got uh, they might be going in for landing that's probably what it is alright let's watch our carriers here because all of our carriers are sitting right on the other side of midway now thankfully we're gonna get our AA fire going here in a minute but yeah, it looks like we shot down a couple of these guys. Yeah, there goes all the AA fire now. Coming up from the island and from the carrier. And we've also got our, our fighters, which is probably not a good mix with all that AA fire. So these bombers are going to get a couple of their bombs off, but that's all they're going to do. And they're not going to make it back to their carriers. In fact, it doesn't look like they really bombed a whole lot of any significance. So our squadrons are going to come back in to land, and then maybe we go back out after these guys? I don't know. Okay, for the first time, we do get a glimpse of what the Japanese have. They've got three destroyers, a cruiser, a heavy cruiser, a battle cruiser, and three carriers. So this is our chance. We could recreate what happened at the historic Battle of Midway, and we can make a difference that really lasts. But I really actually I probably want to recall these fighters. I want to get everybody refueled and refit and ready and then we're gonna probably try to pursue these carriers. Alright this is gonna be our chance to wipe out his fighter cover. He's got 24 fighters here. We're sending every fighter available to intercept them. Hopefully we wipe them out and then we have something left to hit these dive bombers and then additional fighters. So we've got four carriers worth of fighters that we're going to get up in the air here. It looks like the combat's begun, so let's see what's happening. They're all kind of focused on that Kingfisher at the moment. Okay, here's our chance. Let's see what we can do here. If we can wipe out his fighter cover, there goes my Kingfisher, that's fine. Here they come. I want to see where the rest of my fighters are. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the bridge for a second. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Man, we got so much. We got another squadron that hasn't quite made it there yet. Let me make sure that we've got all our fighters in the air. 
all the fighters are up from Yorktown they're not all up from Enterprise All right, now this may be interesting because he's got some zeros coming right in toward my fleet. We're going to get our chance to see what our ships can do in an aircraft fire. Because a lot of our fighters are refitting at the moment. But I don't know if he's going to actually get that close or if he's going to be smart and turn around. I guess we'll see here in a minute. And it looks like these guys are going to fly right in near my ships. I don't know if they'll get in range of the anti-aircraft fire or not. It doesn't appear they're going to. Alright, here we go again. The fight continues. This this fighter war is going to uh, battle is going to determine whether or not I can clear a path for my bombers to get out there and, and hit him. And right now it's not going well. It's going pretty well, I guess. I think we had taken out enough of his planes previously to set ourselves up for this now. Ooh. It's kind of fun to watch, even though it's one of mine. So there were 12 Japanese fighters. Now there's just four there. I lost two. I had 28. Now I've got 26. So, a um, ton of fighters we have in the air right now. You can see he's getting everything refit right now. This is going to go on for a little while back and forth, but if we slowly uh, use attrition to take out his fighters, then we're going to be able to go after those carriers. All right, we just spotted a second uh, group of enemy ships. We've got three battleships there. Uh, so, that's obviously a concern. I'm sending all both of my fleets in to repair and resupply because you can see, for example, here we've lost a ton of fighters, but we've taken out a ton in the process. In fact, I want to look real quick at the fleets and kind of see that. Uh, the Yuana buyer has destroyed 74 enemy aircraft. Uh, what about the others? Let's take a look. Here's the Saratoga. They have destroyed one aircraft but they were the ones that just got involved now let's look at the other fleet which is task force 17 yorktown has destroyed seven aircraft along with 25 structures which that was from their previous raid and then enterprise had has destroyed six aircraft so all told we've destroyed a lot of planes uh, but we've lost i don't know maybe 30 or 40 in the process here comes another opportunity there's eight Japanese fighters here and we're honestly just gonna watch we just wiped out all of them uh, so this is working it's not a lot of fun to watch necessarily but it's working and this is gonna set me up because what I don't want to have happen is that I I launch my dive bombers prematurely and I lose a bunch because they run into a bunch of Japanese fighters so if we can clear the way, and it looks like we may be starting to do that, then we're going to launch a huge spread of dive bombers, and we're going to wipe out this enemy fleet. So you can see now that uh, Task Force 12 is in port. We're going to start replacing all of these fighters that we've lost. And the Japanese don't have that luxury because they, they aren't anywhere near a port where they can replace theirs. I don't know where he's sending these fighters up that way but maybe it is time to go ahead as soon as these guys get refit we're gonna send our fighters out we're gonna at least take out these battleships and then if we get really lucky we'll go after the carriers okay here go 40 fighters from the Saratoga Ah, he's running away alright so maybe here's our chance I'm gonna pause real quick let's go ahead and check this out select all bomber flights we're going to send our bombers at those battleships. And uh, let's see, Task Force 17. Let's start with fighters. We're going to move them that way. 
Uh, but then we're also going to go bombers. So I've given all of my fighters orders to defend the dive bombers. So we'll see how that works in reality. I'm not entirely sure how it will. Three destroyers spotted. That's not a huge deal right now. They're way off in the distance. Okay, so we've got... We should have more than enough fighters to get this done. And what I did was I actually dropped the, the dive bombers back a little ways. Because they were getting way out in front of the fighters. And I didn't want that to be an issue. Let's get them as high as we can get them. Hopefully our fighters clear the path. We'll find out soon enough if that's the case. Alright, let me go back to my map. I want to see how many we've got still. Okay, here we go. We're going to get our first nine bombers. That's a torpedo cruiser. I don't think that's the guy I want to take on. Where's his battleships? I know he's got battleships in here somewhere. Okay, there they are. And that's the target. Yamashiro and Mutsu. Let's get a look at these things. We've got two squad, uh, two sets of uh, dive bombers coming this way. So that's his torpedo bomb, uh, torpedo boat. I'm really not going concerned about that too much. Is this three battleships? Three battleships. Okay. Oh boy. I don't know what just happened there, but that's not what I wanted to have happen. All right, well, I don't know what happened, but it glitched out and didn't let me see the attack. But we definitely sank one of his battleships, as you can see here. I didn't hit the Mutsu at all. And I think I may have lost all the planes involved, although I can't tell that either. We got a couple of wildcats in the air. So I don't know. I don't know what happened there. My apologies for that, but we're going to recall all of our planes now. We should have a second squadron of dive bombers that were supposed to be headed that way. But I'm not entirely sure what happened with them either. Okay, so there's just these four fighters right now that are coming after all of my dive bombers, and somehow they slipped right past my protection but he's got very few fighters left at this point I think my dive bombers are gonna be good to go after these other two battleships I don't feel I'm ready to go after the carriers quite yet but I think he's gonna have no protection whatsoever against my dive bombers this time around so we'll go ahead and watch this happen we're going to go after the Mutsu. If we can find him again. Maybe we'll go after this, this guy too. It's nighttime, so it's kind of hard to spot the battleship at this point. So I think these ones are going to reach first. Let's see what they go after. Maybe they're going to look for the battleship, and they'll just bypass this guy. 
Actually, these ones are out of bombs, aren't they? Yeah. These guys are returning from their attack. There's the two battleships that are left. Hayuga, Mutsu. Let's go ahead and see what we've got coming in on them. Oh, I lost it again. I don't know why that's happening. Maybe there's something I'm missing. It might just be that they, they can't spot him. I don't know. There he is. Let's slow this down. All right, we're getting some sunlight now. Now we ought to be able to spot these guys again. Here we go. Come on, boys. Do your thing. Take this guy down. If we could take out three Japanese battleships, I'd be very happy. But I want to hit those carriers because we've depleted their planes and we got a real opportunity to strike a big blow to the Japanese fleet. love these dive bombers. They're so much better than the torpedo planes, especially if you're an American. Ah, uh, we completely missed. Uh, I guess we should expect that at night time. Darn it. Maybe the other ones will have better luck. Do we have any other ones coming in? Guess not. Okay, here we go. Got two dive bombers coming at the Hayuga. Maybe we have better luck this time. No. Oh, jeez. Not even close. I was spoiled by my early success with dive bombers. It's all right. We can come at them again. All right, here we go. Six more coming at them. We're just gonna keep this up till we sink these guys. I like the angle we're coming in on this time. I feel like this has got a good chance. Yes! Oh, we didn't do as much damage as I would have liked, though. Wow, we actually didn't do that much damage to these guys at all. Ugh. We got so much success with the first one that I've just really been spoiled, but we can keep at this all day long. All right, this time we're not messing around. 30 dive bombers. And we're sending about 60 fighters to protect them. And I'm not sure why they just ran back instead of going after the target. I don't know what's going on right now. But it looks like all of my planes just returned to base as soon as they made contact with those fighters. I really don't understand that. All right, this is going to be the one right here. No way we don't get a sinking here. And we got a bunch more where those ones came from. We've even got the uh, torpedo planes on the way this time. So no messing around. If we get these battleships sunk, I think we'll probably wrap it up for this episode and we can save uh, going after the main carrier fleet for the next episode because I feel like we've done a lot already in the Battle of Midway. And there's still a lot more to go. Okay. All right, there we go. I'm just kind of speeding things up so we can make some things happen here. Here come our torpedo planes. Let's pause for a second so we can slow this down. All right, 
hopefully they don't all go after one guy. I don't want them to do that. Seems like they might be. I'm going to try to turn some of them. Oh boy, that's a lot of torpedoes. Alright, we'll see what happens here. I want to get all my people rejoined into their formations. I hope we can get somebody with these torpedoes. The oi still hasn't been sunk. No torpedoes are going to hit the Hayuga. Well, this one might. Now nah, he's going to turn away from it. Too easy. Mutsu, on the other hand, has no chance of avoiding the spread that came at him. I think he's going to be done. So maybe the torpedoes aren't the worst thing in the world after all, because our dive bombers had a heck of a time with the battleship. Beautiful. Please don't tell me he hung on by that tiny thread. He may have. Yeah, it looks like he's going to survive just barely. Alright, we have to make another run. Okay, here we go. That other one did finally sink, so now we're after the Hayuga. Last remaining battleship in the water for them. I think we're going to get him. I don't know if this will be enough to finish him off. But if not, there's another bunch of them coming. Oh, he's going to miss them both. Look at that. Ah. Oh. And then he turned this way. For some inexplicable reason, he turned... Oh, he's avoided them all. Look at you go. Nice job, Hayuga. You got one there. That's right. We're not done with them yet. Oh boy, my fleet's in range. Why would they get that close? Alright, where's my battleship? The Salt Lake City just got sunk. When I gave the attack order, it didn't occur to me that the ships would actually come at him like this. Alright, another lesson learned the important and difficult way. We lost a cruiser. But now our fleet is returning fire. I don't have any battleships in this fleet, though. Good news is we've got dive bombers coming. Did we just lose another? Oh, boy. Lost a heavy cruiser, too. This was not a wise move on my part. Thankfully, he's done. Oh, now I lost the destroyer. I lost three ships because I decided to go in and issue an attack order. That was a disaster. All right, we got to get this fleet out of here. I issued an attack order, and they just went straight at him. Oh, brutal. Let's get back over there and see what's going on. At least he's not hitting my carrier so far. Alright, my Dauntless has got him. Finally. Oh. Alright, so we sank three Japanese battleships, but we got really careless in there, and I lost three cruisers and a destroyer because of it, and I didn't need to lose any of those. Alright, we're going to wrap it up right there. Important lessons learned, but uh, also we are on the verge of something really special here, because we're going to get refit, and then we're going to pursue these guys, because I think... I can get these carriers because he's got very little fighter protection left and he's got no um, planes to hit back. So we've got to get refit. We've been getting refit 
with Task Force 12. So they should be about ready to go. As soon as we get their planes replenished, we're going to go after them. So let me know your thoughts about all that. We'll see you again in a couple of days with the next episode. Thanks for watching.